हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू द डेरिवेटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डिरेक्ट डेल्टा फंक्शन राइट सो बिफोर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स लेट अस फर्स्ट क्विकली सी द डेरिवेटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ डिरेक्ट डेल्टा फंक्शन सो नाउ कंसिडर द एनथ डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डिरेक्ट डेल्टा फंक्शन that is the delta n x minus a right so here uh, this n uh, denotes the order of the derivative and let us consider a test function say f of x right so if we integrate from minus infinity to infinity then the value of this integral may be given as minus 1 raised to n and then we uh, find out the nth derivative of this function that is f of x uh, evaluated at this point that is a right so we can write the nth derivative of f of x evaluated at this point a right so the value of this integral is given by this expression so this expression is known as the derivative property of the dirac delta function so here we have the nth derivative of uh, delta function and when we have a test function f of x associated with the, the delta function then the value of this integral is given by minus 1 raised to n uh, the nth derivative of f evaluated at uh, x is equal to a right and obviously uh, we know that uh, the delta function is uh, not equal to uh, zero at this point but the delta function is zero at all other points except x is equal to a right so we'll get the peak uh, at x is equal to a so we can uh, also write this integral that is minus infinity to infinity f of x delta of x minus a dx is equal to f of a right so now uh, based on uh, this derivative property uh, let us solve uh, two important problems so now consider this problem uh, in which we have to uh, evaluate this integral from minus infinity uh, infinity to infinity uh, we have t cube plus t square plus t plus 2 and the second derivative of uh, delta function that is delta t minus 1 dt right so uh, let us call this integral as i and let us rewrite this integral as minus infinity to infinity uh, we can take uh, this function as Uh, f of t and here uh, this notation that is d2 over dt2 uh, can be written as uh, delta double prime and we have t minus 1 uh, dt right so our function f of t is given by t cube plus t square plus t plus 2 right and here uh, the second derivative of delta function is involved so here uh, this n is equal to 2 right and uh, it is important to note that here the variable is t and here the variable was x right so the variable is not going to make any difference and here uh, the value of uh, a is given by 1 so now the value of this integral uh, due to this property is given by uh, minus 1 uh, raised to 2 because the value of n is 2 and uh, then we have f of uh, 2 and here we have a a is given by 1 right so this notation uh, is uh, it can also be written as f double prime of 1 right so we have to find the second derivative of f of t so uh, we have f prime of t is given by d by dt of t cube plus t square plus t plus 2 right so this is uh, 3t square plus 2t 
plus 1. The derivative of 2 is 0. So now uh, let us obtain the second derivative of uh, f of t. So f double prime uh, t is given by the derivative of 3t square plus 2t plus 1. So here we have uh, 6t and here we have simply 2, right? And the derivative of 1 is 0 being a constant. So the second derivative is given by 6t plus 2. So the value of uh, f double prime at this point that is 1, a is equal to 1 is given by replacing t by 1. So we have 6 times 1 plus 2. So this is 6 plus 2 that is 8. Right. So here we have minus 1 square is plus 1 and f uh, 2 of 1 can be written as f double prime of 1 and we have here simply f double prime of 1 f double prime of 1 is equal to 8 right so the value of this integral is equal to 8 so now consider uh, the second problem so here we have the integral minus 3 to 0 uh, log of natural log of t plus 3 and here the third derivative of uh, delta function is involved so we have the third derivative of delta of t plus uh, 2 dt right so let us call this integral as i right and here uh, we can see that uh, the value of a is given by uh, minus 2 because when we take t plus 2 is equal to 0 we get t is equal to minus 2 right so the value of a is minus 2 and this minus 2 it belongs to uh, this interval that is the limits and we can write minus 3 to 0 right so minus 2 belongs to this interval minus 3 comma 0 right and if we compare this integral with this one, uh, then the value of f of t is given by a log of t plus 3 and uh, the third derivative is involved. So we have n is equal to 3 because n denotes the order of the derivative. So now let us uh, find out the uh, third derivative of f of t. Right, because here we have fn of a, so the first derivative is given by f prime of t, which is d by dt of log of t plus 3, right? And the derivative of log of t plus 3 is 1 over t plus 3. So this is the first derivative, right? The second derivative is obtained by differentiating 1 over t plus 3 with respect to t. So we can write 1 over t plus 3 as t plus 3 raised to minus 1. So we have d by dt of t plus 3 raised to minus 1. So this is minus 1 t plus 3 raised to minus 1 minus 1 uh, using the power rule. And then by chain rule, the derivative of t plus 3 is 1 plus 0, right? So we have minus 1 uh, divided by uh, t plus 3 uh, raised to the power 2, right? So we can also write this expression as minus t plus 3 raised to minus 2, right? So this is the second derivative. So now let us find out the third derivative. So we can write uh, this expression as minus t plus 3 raised to minus 2. So the third derivative f triple prime t is given by d by dt of uh, negative of t plus 3 raised to uh, minus 2, right? So again, uh, applying the chain rule uh, and the power rule, so here we have minus 1, this is minus 1, then we have minus 2 t plus 3 raised to minus 2 minus 1 and by chain rule the derivative of t plus 3 is 1 plus 0. 
so this is minus minus plus so we have 2 t plus 3 raised to minus 3 so this is 2 over t plus 3 uh, raised to 3 right so this is the third derivative of uh, f of t right so now the value of this integral i is equal to minus 1 minus 1 raised to n n is 3 and then we have the third derivative of f of t uh, evaluated at this point that is minus 2. So now minus 1 raised to 3 is minus 1 and the third derivative of f of t at this point minus 2 uh, can be obtained by taking t is equal to minus 2 in this expression so we have 2 over minus 2 plus 3 uh, raised to 3 so this is a minus 1 times 2 is minus 2 and this is 3 minus 1 raised to 3 so we have minus 2 over 1 that is minus 2 right so the value of this integral is given by minus 2.